Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you this very nice sunlight 400 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. Now this particular bulb is bought off Amazon Prime for $12. So that was ridiculously cheap if you ask me. Now I do believe there are clear versions of other brands of 400 watt mercury vapor bulbs as well. But I haven't encountered any clear mercury vapor bulbs that are 250 or 400 watt or 1000 watt. But let's not worry about that and we'll might as well look at the etch real quick. Also known as the information about this mercury vapor bulb. So let me focus it in here. Alright, here we go. You can see the company name right there on the top of the lamp. Or the etch, I should have said there. Sorry about that. And right under the company name is the bulb code. It's actually a pretty simple one as you can see. So you can see MV means mercury vapor. The 400 means that it's the wattage. The DX means that it is deluxe coated with phosphor coating on the inside like on a fluorescent lamp. And the base type which is right on the far right called MOG means mogul. So there you go with that. I have seen a lot of mogul based mercury vapor bulbs. I have seen a couple medium based mercury vapor bulbs, but they're not that common. And right on the far left on the third row of the etch is the bulb shape type, which is the elongated dimple 37 or ED 37. I'm not sure what the low mercury means. I'm pretty sure the low mercury means that um, it says that it's actually a energy efficient lamp or it has less mercury in its arc tube. And I'm not sure what the 130 volt means. I'm not sure why it operates on 130 volts. It's supposed to operate on 240 volts from the ballast main voltage. I'm not sure what all the random numbers mean on the etch, but if anybody knows, just let me know in the comments below. So that's it for the etch. So we might as well look at the construction real quick to see how this bowl was made. So you can see the stem right there. No silver getter. That only applies to pulse start super metal halide and mostly high pressure sodium bulbs. You can see some, I don't know what that was that just fell down right near the stem. So you can see some glue on the base to keep the base glued onto the glass of the bulb. That's how it's made in a factory. You can see some lead wires which were welded. You can see the welding process to connect to the arc tube. We do have the dimple for extra support for the whole arc tube and giving it extra support. So that's what I mean by that. I'm not sure what that is. Pretty sure it's like some type of cutoff resistor or something. Here's the probe res start resistor right there. And um, you can kind of see the arc tube if I point it at an angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and point it right here. So you can kind of see the bottom end of the arc tube. You can see the probe circuit right there. And if I point it at to some type of light source, you can really see it because the coating on this bulb has been scratched off during when it was being shipped and such. So anyway, I'm going to show you in a fluorescent fixture. So I got this at the restore also for $4. So anyways, you can see the R2 very nice and clearly. And you can see some mercury right there on the bottom of the R2. And a little bit on the top right there if I get a good glimpse. Sorry, there we go. You can see the other electrode on the arc tube. This arc tube is made of quartz, as you can see, but it doesn't have any coating of ceramic because it's only mercury that is vaporizing, not any other element inside of the arc tube. So you can see the little tip of the arc tube right there. And um, there you go. That's the inside of this deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. So now I'm going to go ahead and move back. Sorry about that long delay there. Now I'm going to give you some specifications about this bulb and then I'll turn it on. Eh, once this bulb or once this camera gets a focus. I'm not sure what all that screaming is. Don't worry about that. So, sorry my camera is out of focus for some reason. There we go, sorry about that. Sorry it took so long. But anyways, this particular mercury vapor bowl produces 20,500 lumens. So that's 
So that's why it says low mercury on the etch down there. So that's why the lumen output is not that high. Normally they produce 22,000 lumens to 23,500, I'm not sure. But um, that's the lumen output. Um, the color temperature of this lamp is 4000K or cool white because of the coating on the bulb. If it was clear, it would be 5900K or daylight. And the average lifetime on this bulb is, this really bothered me as soon as I got the bulb, 10,000 hours. Normally mercury vapor bulbs have an average life of 24,000 hours, but this bulb here has been reduced so much. 14,000 hours. So that is a lot of hours time wasted on this lamp. So that's only 10,000 hours. So that really bothered me. But anyways, I'm not going to use this mercury vapor bulb much anyway, so it'll last for a while. So I also forgot to mention that we also have a very nice hard aluminum base with a beautiful polished ceramic insulator. So anyway, um, I believe that's that. So I'll show you my new fixture that this bulb runs on. So here it is. So the ballast is made by Venture Lighting. So let me put the bulb down slowly. So here you can see the sticker or the specifications about this ballast here, once the camera gets a focus. So anyways, you can see the company name right there, Venture Lighting. There's its logo. I really like the logo, it's really cool. And um, there's the diagram of how to wire it. I already wired this ballast up and it works very nicely. And this is what gave me a surprise. And this is what I like the most about this ballast. See that? That's right. It operates both metal halide and mercury vapor. So that's why I'm making this video. It's so I don't have to get a separate ballast for the 400 watt mercury vapor ballast kit. It's basically like two ballasts in one. It's like a deluxe ballast. It's like an upgrade. That's why these ballasts are so cool. And I'm so glad they exist still to this day. So you can see that it operates the 400 watt metal halide or M59 and the 400 watt MV or mercury vapor, the H33. And that's what the bulb is, um, is recommended for. That's the recommended ballast. So that's really cool. You can see the all the wires on the primary and secondary coils of the ballast. There's the capacitor made by Aerovox. There's the socket and um, I duct taped all of the wires down because the wires are just driving me crazy. Here's the socket. Medium base to mogul base adapter is used because the socket is a medium base socket for like normal lamps suitable for homing and for like home lighting. So anyways, um. I believe that's that, so let's go ahead and we'll give this bowl a shot and we'll see how it starts up. And hopefully there will be no issues with the arc tube whatsoever. And since there's phosphor coating on the inside of this lamp, it'll give off a pink color. Just like I did on my um, Westinghouse 175 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb that I made over two months ago. So yeah, so yep, this bowl will give off a pink color and then it'll shift to a Kind of a cool fluorescent white color. So it's basically equivalent to that 15 watt cool white fluorescent bulb right there. So it's really cool. So let's go ahead and screw it in. And I have tested this bulb before and I gave this bulb a test like about 30 minutes ago and um, it actually works very nicely. And um, we'll set the camera right here on the ballast so we can get a good view of the whole bulb itself. All right, I believe that's that. Let's go ahead and give this bulb a shot in three, two, one.
Anyway, the bulb is at full brightness and wow, it is bright in here. So as you can see, this bulb lights up this room quite nicely in cool fluorescent white, similar to that 15 watt fluorescent bulb right there. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this very nice sunlight, 400 watt deluxe coated mercury vapor bulb. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching.